Hey guys, I'm Roxette Arisa and you're watching This Week in Beauty with Ipsy. So today I've got Ipsy Open Studios creator Lizbeth Hernandez here to walk us through five different ways to use the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm that's been, you know, in some of our recent glam bags and we wanted to give you some options on how to use it. Yes, I'm so excited to share. I find this, when I first heard about this product, it was kind of confusing. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's a nipple balm. I have five ways you guys can use this nipple balm and I know you're gonna love them. Amazing, I've used it as a like, lip balm before just to soothe chapped lips and everything, but I really wanna know the rest of these versatile ways to oh, use it. Oh, yeah, so it's tasteless, fragrance-free, additive-free, and edible. So I find oh. that it's a very clean beauty product, mm -hmm. which is so great. But yeah, I want to share my five favorite ways to use this. So first way, I love to use it as a cuticle care. It's like mm. one of my favorite ways to use it. It is so hydrating, so moisturizing. I just find it to really take care of those dry cuticles. I find other cuticle creams, you're always adding it throughout the day, but this one, I don't find myself always going back to it. I just mm -hmm. find it to be so really moisturized. Saturates totally the saturates <laughs> the skin and I have really dry skin. So oh. I'm like always on the hunt for a good one. This one is really great. So love it as cuticle care. Next way for the makeup lovers out there. So sometimes I find pigment colors to be like way prettier. I just have yeah. more favorite pigment colors. And sometimes I don't want it to be a powdery shadow. So when you mix it with the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm, it becomes a really great creamy eyeshadow. Oh, that's so smart. Super so easy. Like yeah, just- A mixer, a mixing just, medium. Yeah, mixing medium. You can just swipe it on and I just find it to be like a really beautiful color and consistency and just super easy to use. Um, another way you can use it is to condition your eyelashes. Ooh, a use lot. it at night. Yeah, Get use it at night before going. you go to bed, apply it to your lashes and it just hydrates them, conditions them, especially with all the makeup or lashes mm -hmm. we're using. It's just a way, great way to just take care of your lashes. Another way I like to use it as a little glossy lid look. Ooh, so that you just so pretty. Apply it on your lid and then just look at that little sheen. <gasps> it just adds like the perfect little natural sheen. Just a nice little pop. This would be so pretty for like a no makeup makeup look where you don't want it to look like you're wearing a bunch of stuff on your face or on your eyes. Mm -hmm. I think this would be so pretty. And then you can also put it as like a little highlight. Yes, like get it, that glow going. It just gives you this, I love a dewy look. I just find it makes your skin look so conditioned, mm -hmm. so hydrated, so just fresh and supple. That is so pretty. I also put it at the top right here, the brow bone. It, has, it gives a very natural looking highlight. Like just like you said, it just makes your skin look very, very hydrated. And Especially for girls supple. that don't like a glittery highlight, mm -hmm. you know, I don't, either, we're out there. Sometimes you don't want a glittery look, but you want that glow. Mm -hmm. So I just find it to be just such a nice glow. Cute. So I love it for the lids and a highlight. Um, like you said, chapstick. Chapstick, perfect Great for to getting condition. that moisturized lip feeling. <laughs> oh yeah, and I like that. It almost kind of gives you a glossy look, yes. but not like too much. It's just a nice little glow. That easy beauty natural, look. natural gloss. Yeah, I love it. And then you can use it as a primer. Ooh. Yeah. So before you put on your full face of makeup, you can just apply it to your lips, let that set in. You know, let all your moisturizer set in, and then you apply your matte lipstick, and it's just like good to go. And it keeps it from like getting dry and. Trapped. You know, some matte yeah. lips you get a little flaky. This is just so nice, hydrating, just so great. Cool. And of course you can always use it on um, chafed nipples or anywhere else on the body that's feeling a little dry. So that's another great use for it. But let us know how you guys use the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. I'm always on the hunt for multitasking products. Yes. So please let us know in the comments below what your favorite multitasking products are. We'd love to know. Yes. I'm Roxette Reason. Thanks for watching This Week in Beauty with Ipsy.